Good morning, you guys. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another day in my life vlog. I don't have work today, so I figured today was like the perfect day to vlog, you guys, during the week, like a productive day because I have a lot I want to get done today. So I thought I'd take you guys along. It's like nine o'clock. I'm starting off with a cup of coffee this morning. This is my new mug. It says, don't quit your daydream. My friend sent this in the mail to me the other day and I literally like just about cried when I saw it. I got a notification from UPS that there was a package being dropped off at my house and I was like, okay. I'm not, I know I didn't buy anything. Like there's no way that I bought anything and I could not think of what the heck it was. I asked my family and stuff, they didn't have anything coming. So I was like so confused. And then the package came and I opened it and I was like, what the heck? Like this is like perfect for me. Who in the world would have sent this? And then I saw the little thing. My friend sent it for me from Target and it's literally like the cutest and most perfect thing in the whole freaking entire world. Like what more could you want in the morning when you have your morning cup of coffee than like an inspirational saying? my favorite little saying quote thing whatever you want to call it that i like literally live by i love it so much i'll link it down below for you guys if i can find it in case you guys want to get your hands on it because it's literally adorable but thank you to her i literally love you so much i've been best friends with her since i was like five years old those are the kind of friends that you need in your life anyway it is nine o'clock right now i just worked out i'm trying to work out more i worked out i'm showered all that good stuff so i'm gonna sit down at my desk for a little bit and maybe like come up with some things that i want to get done today and try and edit the video that's supposed to go up today because it's tuesday and my video is supposed to go up and i haven't edited it yet so that's what we're starting off this morning you guys know i'm a total planner so i just want to show you guys my to-do list real quick whenever i have like a lot to do and i can't fit it all on my planner over here then i'll put it on like another sheet of paper just so I can see everything that I want to get done and since I have so much I want to get done today it's on the paper so this is just kind of what it looks like I want to edit and upload the vlog hopefully do some emails dishwasher laundry cleaning boring stuff I want to work on my application for a grad program that I'm looking into some videos I want to film the one that I'm filming right now and then I want to go through my clothes which will be an adventure you guys and then later tonight I also am going to dinner with some friends so that will be fun but this is just kind of like what today looks like what we're gonna get done hopefully fingers crossed there's something that's like so satisfying about crossing something off your to-do list so i love making these things video is finally up which means i can cross it off my to-do list, my favorite part. One thing down, uh, about 10 things to go. It's a little while later now and it is laundry time. I'm gonna start some laundry. That's the easiest part is starting it. Then comes the not so fun part of folding it. But for now, we just got the easy stuff. Just started the laundry. I am finally ready. I'm going to get ready and film a video. As you can see, I'm trying to set that up. It is so gloomy today. I'm having like the hardest time getting productive. I don't know if you guys ever have that problem when it's just like really ugly. Like it's like gray and gloomy out. It's just so like bleh, like just bleh outside. And I feel like it's so hard to like get up, be productive, get all your stuff done when it's ugly out. It's just so hard to finally like get yourself moving when it's ugly and just gross outside, but finally ready. I'm gonna film a little Q&A for you guys since I feel like there's like so many new faces around here. I wanna do a Q&A so you guys are like all in the loop, you know, and you guys can get to know me a little bit better. I think that's what I'm gonna sit down and do now. I think actually I'm gonna take my little coffee mug down and get another cup of coffee as like an afternoon pick me up. It is about two o'clock now. Yeah, it's two o'clock now. While well, I've been getting ready, I've been watching Abducted in Plain Sight. It is a documentary on Netflix for you guys that don't know or haven't heard of it i started watching it. it's like an hour and a half long that's what i've been watching while i'm getting ready and oh my goodness i'm not one of those people that can like watch scary shows like that because i literally like get so scared when i watch shows like that and i i don't know why i decided to watch it but i decided to watch it all by myself and now i am like scared <laughs> it's a good show but i would definitely only recommend watching it if you guys don't get scared easily because it is creepy Getting my second cup of coffee now so I can drink that and then it's time to film. Let me know if you guys want to see like a behind the scenes on how I edit, how I upload, what I use to film. I feel like I get a lot of questions that are like wanting to know what I use to film and edit and upload and all that stuff. So I could make a whole dedicated video on that. I just feel like it's kind of boring and not something that everybody would like. But if you guys want to see something like that, 
I'll do it. I just don't know if you guys want to see it. So comment down below if that's something you'd be interested in. Wait for my coffee to finish brewing and then back upstairs we go. It is so much later, you guys. It is almost five o'clock now. I just got done filming two videos. I was trying to kind of get ahead because I've been, well, it got way dark. Because I've been a little bit behind lately. It is raining so bad out now. I have like the biggest mess. This is um, the aftermath of filming a video. So much going on. I got to clean up my lights and stuff. But what I love doing after getting stuff done is crossing it off the to-do list. So we did this video. We did that. Well, we pretty much did the laundry. Let's queue up a little cleaning montage and then we can hopefully start going through my closet. It's so gloomy out, but room is cleaned up, yay! All right, you guys, this is a little embarrassing. <laughs> this is my closet. Do you see how many hangers are up here and how shoved in here my clothes are? Like, look, this is like literally falling off the hanger right now. Like, I just have so many hangers. It's not as bad down here. And like, even back here, like it goes all the way back there. Like this whole thing is literally such a mess. I wanna go through it and try and get rid of some stuff. I'm not so worried about my pants or my t-shirts. I'll do that more once I like transition my closet from winter to spring. But this right here is what I wanna go through because I have so many sweaters and stuff that I just don't wear that I need to get rid of. So, we're gonna go through this and try and figure out what we can get rid of, what we can keep, it just, it needs to be dealt with. I'm just gonna set you guys here and then I'll pull out the pieces that I'm getting rid of and show them to you guys. We're gonna get rid of this. I don't ever wear this. It's just a shirt from Victoria's Secret Pink. We're getting rid of it. This is the same thing. It's the same shirt, just different colors, but it's gotta go. I like this sweater and I already wore it, but I don't think I'm ever gonna wear it again. So we're just gonna, we gotta get rid of it. Same with this thing. I like it, but I just don't think I'm gonna wear it again. And same with this thing. I like it, but I just don't think I'm gonna wear it again. Don't think I wear this one again. This I think is a little bit see-through as much as I like it. It's a nice basic, but I think it's a little see-through. So I think we're gonna get rid of this. I think my mom gave this to me because she didn't want it anymore and I think I wore it one time. This is also just a really nice basic. It's just like a plain black sleeved, long sleeved shirt, but it's just really old and kind of like worn out. So we're gonna get rid of that. I also love this sweater. I think it's really cute, but again, probably not gonna wear it. This is all I came up with and it literally doesn't even look like I made a dent in my closet. Oh my goodness. This is not good, Alexa. Oh, I can't get, I don't wear this shirt anymore. I don't know how I miss this shirt. I can't get rid of this shirt. This is actually the shirt that I wore on Eddie and I's first date. I don't think I've worn it since, but I can't get rid of it because I literally bought this like special for our first date. I remember my friends and I went to the mall and then we ended up going to American Eagle. I was like, I think I want to pick out something special for this date. So I remember I bought this shirt from American Eagle. It has like a caged top. I wore this with some jeans and some high-waisted boots. I picked this out especially for our first date. So there's no way I could ever get rid of this and I don't think I'll ever wear it again, but I think I'm gonna put it in my memory box because like, I don't know. Let me know if you guys are like sentimental about this sort of thing, like to keep the first shirt that you wore on the first date with your significant other. I just like can't part with it because it's a special shirt, you know? Cute, it like brings back so many fun memories. I'm gonna put this in my memory box. That way it's at least out of my closet, but I just can't get rid of it. As for the rest of the stuff, I think that I wear the rest of it, as bad as that sounds. I just don't want to get rid of it because I feel like I genuinely wear all the stuff that I have and I would hate to get rid of it and then be like, oh, I really want that one shirt. So I think I'm going to just keep the rest of it. I'll probably just put, there's like so few sweaters here, honestly, that I'm not going to run to Play-Dohs just to drop off like five sweaters. So I'll probably just put it in a bag and then drop it off at Goodwill or something once I have a little bit more clothes accumulated because that's all I can think to do. I don't think it's worth a trip to Play-Doh's just for that little amount of clothes. I'm really upset at myself. I really thought we were going to purge a lot here, but that was a lot faster than I expected and um, I literally got rid of nothing. I'll go through my closet again once springtime comes because I move all of like my shirts, my t-shirts and tank tops and stuff up here and then I get rid of that stuff and put it in the back of my closet. So maybe come springtime, I'll be like ready to get rid of more stuff. But right now I just feel like I use it all. So 
We're gonna do that. What time is it right now? I'm gonna go ahead and put all that stuff in a bag. I'll show you guys my outfit here in a minute, and then I gotta get ready to go. Just wanted to do a little outfit of the day for you, even though I've changed my outfit like five times. That's what happens when you film. I change my outfit like all the time when I film, but this is the outfit that I'm gonna wear tonight to dinner with my friends. I have on this top. I think this is from American Eagle, honestly. It's just like a flowy pink shirt. Nothing much to it. And then I have on this jacket from Target over top of it. This is a couple years old. It's just like a khaki jacket. I just wanted something with a hood right there because it's raining out and I just washed my hair this morning so I don't want it to get wet yet. So I just threw this on over top of it. Then I have these ripped jeans on from American Eagle. They're like super destroyed. And I have on my little rain boots since it's raining out. So this is my little outfit of the night. So I'm about to head out the door and go to dinner. See my friends, I'm excited. video up here in the cards of us on where did we go ocean city yeah maryland. Maryland. maryland i could never remember i'm gonna link that video we were just talking about it when her face was literally it looks a like a tomato it looks like somebody photoshopped it is what it looks like literally like you guys somebody gotta just, go like, took, watch it yeah. comment down yeah. below if you want to see us in more videos <laughs> oh, no. longer you guys haven't been on my channel in a really long time yeah, yeah she we doesn't know. invite us no, I started vlogging more, so now you guys can be in a more because we right. hang out like a decent amount. That's no. fair. You guys won. Yeah, but for those of you who don't know, these are my friends <laughs> from high school. This is Elena, that's Ken's, that's Mick, <laughs> Mikola, Michaela, <laughs> whatever you want to call her. <laughs> what is this mess? Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at him. Look at this face and how pathetic it is. What did you do? Look at all that. What is that? What did you do, mister? Were you bad, puppy? Aw, are you sorry? Come here. What did you do? What is this mess? What is this mess that you made? Huh? Oh, you don't want to talk about it? We don't have any more tissue paper, and I literally had Eddie's gift wrapped for Valentine's Day already. I had done that earlier today. We always say Jasper's like his kid, like Jasper is his son <laughs> is what we always say because jasper like loves him so much so i'm literally just gonna wrap everything back up in the tissue paper that he ate up and say your son put some love into this gift because he ate it i can't believe he did that oh my gosh he literally he always does that he's so rotten Luckily, most of it's not chewed up too bad, but he just added a little love to his presence is all. Honestly, I'm just really glad he didn't get into the chocolate though because I do have like quite a bit of chocolate that I got Eddie for Valentine's Day. And if Jasper would have gotten into that, he would have been one sick boy. He would not have been feeling so good, so. I am just glad he didn't get into that at least. Anyway, that is it for this day in my life vlog. It's 10 o'clock now. I'm literally gonna wash my face, brush my teeth, and hop right into bed. I'm so tired, I can't wait to pass out tonight. I feel like I got so much done today, so I feel really good. I had such a good day, I had so much fun with my friends and stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this day in my life vlog. If you did, don't forget to subscribe by clicking down below and give this video a thumbs up for me. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll link that right here for you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.